Bhagavan and Melanin, and well met indeed. I'm Arakea Galadirathan, the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to the Umbar campaign. I just could not, not continue after that victory. We must capture these rebel provinces before Kand arrive and take them from us. And so I have begun movements. Not only that, but we managed to get the defences into Dol Amroth so they can hold there, where hopefully we can take down Imrahil with stakes. Our forces of Dol Amroth as well are being retrained, and they're going to finish construction of the shrine. Much to be thankful for at this current time. Two generals from Dol Amroth have arrived at Gobel Tolfalas, which will swiftly be known as the General Killer. And Huthafa, for his unbelievable yes, courage in the defence of our realm, has slain Harad completely. His actions have ended Harad. And as such, Gobel and Kalamon is going to be renamed in a rather unconventional town name to Huthafa's Glory. If that is indeed how you spell his name. I can't not. Your orders, I can't Lord. not give him a town for that. It's just so... Look how many troops they have dotted around that are now just sitting doing nothing. Oh, but as I say, we must rush to capture them. Now, if everything has gone to plan as well, the new faction that won the faction vote, uh, which, just to show off how far in advance I record these episodes uh, currently, um, they will... Um, have this will be the third day that I've also done their videos in line with the Umbar videos. But after this, it will return to a video a day. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for watching less videos. Uh, there's nothing really that we can do at the moment, so um, I believe we'll just wait. Yes, my lord. Without oh, wow. Question. Rohan still have that. Proposition for my king. Do not think you have uh, another proposal then. How about map information for us both? Remember, the only rule in this campaign is you cannot ally with anyone and you cannot ask for Be a ceasefire. Isengard are not doing well at all. They've got Goon, they've got Durwath, Bregnas, Ginyard, and Isengard. They haven't even taken Foldberg in after 81 turns. All those people who say that they always see Rohan get destroyed. I mean, where's the evidence? I would say to you to play more than one campaign and see what happens in yes. time. Tomorrow's I mean, journey planned out. If Rohan survive past 100 turns, then they've done what I hope them to do. Oh, we have a spy here for some reason. I don't remember training a spy. Oh, I do remember training my a spy. Lord. Right, head over the river. Impossible, my lord. Give us sight range there. Right, we shall end the turn there. If Mordor didn't have that army, I'd send troops from Tirithride south. But they are too they are needed in case he tries to take Tirithride on his way through. Mordor seem to be keeping Gondor in check in the Morgul Vale. All the way down to the Osgiliath. The town of stars. The town of the host of stars. Ostgiliath. Town, stars, lots of stars. Is essentially how those words break down. Enemy fleet engaging us. Ah, that might be the final end of the Oh no, he's still going. The enemy shows no mercy. They're chasing him though, but he's still going. We can go no further. Kai Andros is now under attack. So Lamroth did build that shrine and they didn't attack him. And now we can use Gondor's forces against them. And they haven't attacked us there either. Yes. And Rosan moves in on Ninda. As you command. I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. Uh, he's training even more men, and I don't really know how to use them. Ships ready. Admiral, you have performed, well, admirably, so if you return to Khaldun, we'll be we able to retrain no you, further. I think. We yeah, because in a no turn. Further. Your will, my lord. The army for now yes. jump in that ship. You jump in that ship. You wish. And you're going to be bringing with you a horde of just terrible units. Staying behind to defend Umbar will be... Um, well, you lot, actually. You might as well go in there, mightn't you? By your command. So you lot stay behind. The rest of you take to yes. the ship. You're going to be on the garrison, but I want men back in that fort, so... Train you lot to go into the fort. And Karagmir is now totally safe. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. My lord. Take the fort Victory first. Victory in your name, my lord. Yes. Marching to war. 
Beginning the siege. Oh, it went. Siege force. Harad's forces aren't rebel. Oh, so they've been replaced with staff. Right, I need to, I need to know what Kand are going to do up here. Does Kand own Upper Kashgar? Continue tomorrow. We can see Kruk Boyadla, so we'll see if they take that. It'll take them a little while to mobilise, it always does. The AI is quite slow in situations like this. Why have we only got one free upkeep bit? Oh, because they can't be trained here, can they? Is that because... Corsairs are only available on the coast. Orders. Your orders, my lord. But as there's, they're going to train in a turn, you two can both join a band. Continue as his you command. We path. can go no further, my lord. With Afa's glory, we'll get some units that do have upkeep. Could do with stop. Could do with not training troops anymore, actually, because we're now um, we're close to our budget. My lord, as you wish. You lot will head north and Baradhan, and you'll eventually be picked up by the fleet, which is now. Ships ready. In our harbour down here. Combining naval force. Ships ready. Ships ready. Oh, uh, well, we Set don't... Sail. They can't really move, so... Um, Ships ready. Sakalo, you might just join them Ships with 16. Ready. The Lamroth didn't attack, which is curious. So all the while they don't attack, we can continue training and wait and waiting that out. But I think we will end the turn again. There's not much more we can do. I will not waste words on you. Other than wait, we shall prevail. Yes, take back Imlad. I behaved like a little girl when I discovered that Harad had been defeated, and I can only apologize for that. And now we can look at it a bit more philosophically now that the stupor has died down. And it is a shame that factions can be defeated with a faction leader going rebel. But it's quite accurate, I would suggest, for Harad. Because Harad are made up of a gathering of tribes. There isn't one ultimate power in Harad. It's always said that they're tribesmen. And we can assume that a faction, a tribe, has ultimate power. So for them to go rebel, it, it kind of is... Ac I would suggest it's accurate. Because it shows that the, the tribe that has the yes. most power has been defeated. And as we've seen countless Pressing times through on. our own world's history... Even though there is a great threat on the horizon, oftentimes infighting can bring down cultures better than an external yes, enemy can. So I would argue that that's the situation here. Now that the tribe which has ultimate power has fallen, By your command. the Ships ready. lesser, tr lesser Ships fighting ready. tribes can now vie yes, for that glory. And in the... Ships ready. In the ensuing struggle, the nation falls apart. No that is my reasoning, and I shall stick by it. See, look, they're only peasants as well. For some reason, the troops Harad had in the towns Your orders, didn't Lord. go rebel. And I, I can't tell you why, I'm afraid. Although it looks like Yud... Oh, no, Yud was over here. They had another army. I will not waste words on you. No, that's, that's almost got I the same army composition. Yad must have been killed, and there's a new captain. Hello on the money. Yes. Razan has arrived to take Finish back Nindad. Them. And if we can take Lin here, I'd rather have Lin here than Fanwilond, because if we can remove Dol Amroth, we can really... We don't have to worry about them. They're, like, they're gone, we can just focus on Gondor. That is our plan. Right, there are two free upkeep units that can remain here, so we'll keep the Corsair pikemen. Yes. Send we'll you lot north. Camp here. We're not really making enough to queue up buildings, so we'll leave the ones that are already queued. Yes, my lord. Do Gondor really have Balor? As you wish. Is that actually true? Stopping here. My Find lord. out in a moment, won't we? They thought better of Gobel Tolfalas, and they've sodded off. How many people does Umber have? Not very many, does it? Only 3,000. Thuffer's glory. See, that's still gaining people, and that's got 9,700. Can't actually grow any larger, that's as big as it will ever get, so ignore the next level of settlement symbol. We'll end there. Apologies, it's me just looking around the map. We must much, make a it? stand. We are besieged.
Come at me, Dolamra. I think I can place two sets of stakes this time. So we should be able to catch the cavalry in some form of a charge. Oh, we failed a mission. We have built a caravan stop. And Umbar is now gaining more people, which is good. And that goes even further. That's good. Ramlond got a barracks of true sons. And Huthafa's glory built a bazaar. <clears throat> yes, oh, they didn't sally out. Assembling a mighty host. And what of Kashva? Where is Chelkar? Approaching quietly. And the vast hordes. Oh, look, they're checking Lugzak the whole I'm way out. Gonna stick you. Looks like we're going to be attacked, though, doesn't it? Oh, we're not earning any money anymore. Dol Amroth being besieged. Ah, oh, but we'll take Nindad in a moment, and that will us money. Moving to crush the enemy. Besieging the coward, my lord. Then ordered by your command. You lot go in there. Our fleet is Ships on the ready. way still. Yes, Training. No, Full sail. But this fleet will, it will get troops from Barad, it will get troops from Gobel no Tolfalas, and we will either drop in and hit Mithras, which will annoy them greatly, or we'll drop in here and capture Lin here. Either way, they will be caught off guard. But again, I think that's all we can do, so again, just straight to another end turn. Fortunately, we are now losing money. I can't really risk raising the tax rate anywhere, because they won't grow, and... Small hit of money now will give us money in the long run. Oh, you can. You can give us 0.5%. Which sees us earn, still not earn money, but earn less not money. But we'll have two more regions in a second, so. Ah, it's time. Lord Elphir. We can potentially kill the heir and the leader, but they have a normal family tree, so it won't kill off Dol Amro. Here we go again. We have only one unit that drops stakes. We'll have to just place them in a better location. Attack! We can only hope. The third defense of Dol Amroth, this shall be called. So we shall count them. Oh, the Northern Dunedain ones are going to be marked like that. They'll just be first, second, third, fourth defense of Minas Tirith. Oh, it's night time. It's night time, everyone. Right, I've learnt my lesson, so this time the stakes are going to go up here. Where they're really going to get in the way of the enemy, one hopes. Got more archers this time. Can't really use them in any meaningful way, though, because of the way the map works. Anyone outside the walls there is, that's just folly. They'll get obliterated. Oh, we've got quite a few. Oh, those 12 men, there's somewhere where you're going to go. Yeah, oh, they're already there. Otherwise, similar pattern. No, for now, let's put everyone here, yeah. So, 12 of you go up there. Six Corsair warriors. You can join them, I suppose. Be a little bit of more of a defense up there. 90 of you. Put your stakes down, but then you're going to go up there where I just put you. Should get them. Although they kept running in and out, didn't they? So if we put the stakes slightly higher up, maybe? No, we want to catch them so that they have to run into those stakes. Corsair archers. Corsair archers. This is not a very good way of putting troops because they fire in the high arcing shot that I talk of so often. But there's nowhere else for the archers to go, so they'll have to go on the wall. All right, and everyone else is behind the wall. So we'll move them when we need them. Right, 90 of you. For now, just run back here. Everyone on defensive mode. Pikemen, take the gate. Then more pikemen shall stand next to you. Then Belagar footmen will go behind them. Corsairs in the corner. Corsairs behind them. Corsairs behind them. Belagar Footman, take the left one. Peter Jackson, take the right one. Corsair Savages, drop in there. You can maybe get a charge if all goes unwell. All goes poorly. 
Seven Corsair Savages go over there. Please lower the gate this time. I know it made it... No, last time they didn't actually have to attack the gate, did they? Oh yes, it's gone down, it's gone down. Right, we'll speed it up. Get the archers on the wall. We await your command. Move out. We oh. await your command. Right, I think we're in position. We are the air. What's happening? Have they got siege equipment? They have, haven't they? There's an there's definitely an attacking noise happening. Oh, f fascinating! They're breaking the wall down over there! But that does, still doesn't serve their purpose. Even if they run around that edge. Uh, if they run around that edge, they'll come in behind the... Uh... That's an interesting the turn of events. Have fallen. Right, six of you run over there then. Keep it at time six, see what they do. Going for the tower. By all means, waste all your shots on that tower. They're still going for the gate, though. Someone's coming. Who's this? Men at arms. Where is. There he is. No, that's Tarnostian Guard. Lancers of Dorian O'Neill. There's Swan Knights. There's more Swan Knights. Where's Imre Hill? I don't know. Imrahil has Knights of the Silver Swan as his bodyguard. Oh, Imrahil, of course, is coming from over here, isn't he? Idiot. That's why they were breaking it down there, because it's in the middle of the both of them. There's Imrahil. Coming to defend his hometown. Oh, we'll keep it at time six, sorry. It's a needless slowdown. Right, they've fallen. We're getting some kills. This is not where it matters, though. And the baluster and the catapult will certainly have run out of um, ammunition by the time they've broken down the, what they're attacking at the moment. They seem to be going for that tower. I just pray that they don't turn right. Then the cavalry will be... The cavalry won't fall on the stakes. They may not even now, because... We don't, act, they're going to, because they can't charge at anything because there's no enemies. And they need the gate to fall before they can actually do anything. Although, there's no point in any of you wasting your arrows yet. Wait until there's a lot of units grouped up. Then you can do that. That high shot, as you can see, is useless against a single battalion. But against the whole gathering of their, of their forces, it might do something. They didn't... No, they're just pikemen. Yes, they've got ladders. I don't think the Royal Swan Guard are going to die on the stakes because they're walking. Nope. Not a single one of them fell. Ah, oh, I should have put the stakes higher up. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Did you actually come down off the wall? <laughs> you totally did. Oh well. Our the feat seems almost certain. Defeat is certainly on the cards now that we've wasted those stakes. You thought I would have learnt, wouldn't you? Apparently not. Should have put the stakes somewhere like there. Oh well, as long as the archers keep bringing things down. The enemy! Getting a lot more kills. 
Rangers now. We've got pikemen ready inside. Pikemen ready behind that. <laughs> Look at everyone, just waiting. Their pikemen on the walls will slaughter those archers. They have arrived at the gate. I'm not using it yet, though. The enemy are battering down the gates! Blast their eyes! The enemy's ram is through our gates! Stand ye ready, men. You are Umbar's finest. And though we are arrayed against the finest of Dol Amroth, we will stand strong. And I've just... Oh, the stakes have gone because the troops walked over them. I've just noticed that Imrahil has got a jog on. And he's walked straight through. Damn. We've taken some of them down, though. Well, we've taken quite a few, actually. That's gone quite well. Now we can just hope. All we can do is hope. Pikemen get a very large advantage against cavalry, but Imrahil's... Swan Guard are so powerful. There are still 55 Knights of the Silver Swan alive. But their pikemen have charged in. All their cavalry has run through the middle. I just, I'm so annoyed. My stake placement could, could have changed this whole battle. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Oh, someone's died. Lord Elphir. Ah, uh, his scythe, or whoever that is. The whole force is pushing through. Are our archers all finished on the walls? I don't want you to stay on the walls where you'll just die. No, actually, hold on. We'll pull you down when the enemy has made it this far and then you can hit them in the side. Like right now, for example. You guys move up. It's like a chain. Prepare to go to your deaths, men. Fight the enemy with valor and you shall know peace in death. Fight the enemy as cowards, and you will know naught but pain and suffering in the life after this. Don't let him get through. We are ready to strike. Peter, talk to your men. They're not doing their job. And where on earth are they going? You're in defensive mode. It is so even at the moment. The thing that could sway this the most is if Imrahil dies. The feat seems almost certain. If he does. This could really swing in our favour. Oh, they can't get out that way. Which is a shame. Break them all out, break them all out. Surge into the side of the enemy formation. Look at, look at the numbers just swelling out. There are 52 Knights of the Silver Swan still alive. Only three have died since we started this battle. Three. How abysmal is that? My men on the walls are getting killed. But the towers are still fighting in our favour. What is the situation? 30-30.
Can they get round behind us? Oh, they totally can. Block them. Pour onto the wall and deal with them. Oh, just as you lot come through, they're running away. Don't worry about the coastal wardens. Don't worry about the coastal wardens. We'll block them. I want you lot to surge into the pikemen. Do the dance. Do the dance. What? 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 Our enemy what? Has command of the castle. How on earth our foe has lost does our enemy of have the command castle. of the castle? Oh, goodness gracious, they're surging like there's no tomorrow. Wow, we're losing out. Break away, the pipemen are really slow. Come on, 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 come on. Those archers will support there. Of course they're savages. Come on. Only our enemy has command of the castle. How have they got command of the castle again? Because one man has made it to the square. Our foe has lost control of the castle. Only half the enemy force remains. Corsair Savages have done well. The defenders going. Savages, move round. Right, so we've slain those wardens. Absolutely obliterated them. That's good. Pikemen on the walls. Doing too well. Everyone who should be fighting is fighting. Right, Corsairs. Knights of the Silver Swan have lost 10 men since the start of this engagement. Farmhands have made it through. The enemy are just surging. They're just surging on. You're going to have to stay there because otherwise we lose control of the square every time. Oh, come on, Peter Jackson. Much rests on your shoulders now. We, at least we killed his Scythor. We killed a lot of them, but it certainly looks like we are to lose Dolamroth now. They've just thrown their units at us. Absolutely, body and soul, they've thrown everything at the lines we've got. The 
Now the pikemen are surging shocking. back through us. Where is Peter Jackson? He has a sword. Whereas everyone else has a spear. Can't see him. I can't see him in the melee. There's his captain. Oh no, that is him, of course. They're pushing through. They're still pushing through. Only half the enemy force remains. I don't get why they've just gone so much for the square. I'm just, I'm baffled by this. The feat seems almost certain. Our army is tiring. Come on, Peter. Come on, Peter. Oh, no, you're so outnumbered. Our foe has lost control of the castle. There is nothing more to be done. Peter can't contain, can't take back control. Oh, it's all over. We've lost Dol Amroth. This could have been so different if the stakes, if the damn stakes. If we do not regain command of the castle now, we lose it. Peter is the last to stand. Two men stand with him. Our enemies may have won this battle. They've taken but they've it. They've not won this war. He never, never gave his life. He now rests in a Dol Amroth. In an Amrothian dungeon. <laughs> ah, dear. Councilman Ikramar was our faction heir. Dol Amroth's sheer power, the strength of their pikemen and their general units has just been too great for us. We couldn't hold back. We have a force coming. They think they have beaten us. But little do they know that from the south, a secondary force of ours comes north. And Harad have recently fallen. This news will not yet have arrived in Dol Amroth. They will not know that the entirety of the deserts of the south now comes to them. Imrahil's head will be the on a stake before this day fleet. is through. We should man the oars and retreat. Well, they defeated us, but we retreated further we in the direction we want furnace. to go. Yes, yes, Belfalus reclaimed. Yes, my lord. Yes, without question. Oh, there's the chieftain of Isengard besieging Belor. This had best be worth our time. I must say, this we'll... meeting was disappointing. As you wish. I shall continue tomorrow. All right, what happened with that ship? Ships ready. All right, drop off your men for the moment. Taking the troops ashore. Your orders, my lord. You can only get four more units. Yeah, well, we'll take them. My we'll lord. take them. We'll take them. Orders. Pikemen. Yes. What Urging should not come with us? How may I serve? Ships ready. Would I rather have course? I'd rather have two units of pikemen yes, than two units lord. of Haradrim spearmen. Or I don't know why I just dis. Should have just command. put them in there. Ships ready. Oh, that force is going to get attacked, no doubt. Your orders, my lord. Hanad has such a force, though. We will retake Dol Amroth. This episode won't be called the Third Defense of Dol Amroth. It'll be called the Loss, won't it? We held it for long enough so as to be a pain. <coughs> but I will end that episode there. Councilman Umara is now our second in command. He resides in Berion Castle, guarding our northern border. As Mordor and Gondor now slog it out, and neither of them are really bothered with us. That's good. We will take Nindad Estolad. Our force will arrive in Dol Amroth, and we will seek vengeance on our loss this day. But until that time, 
I beg of you, please place comments in the YouTube comments section or on Total War Center where they will get answered and spoken of and indeed met with a reply. And I do hope you've enjoyed watching, if indeed you have. And until we speak again, as ever, dear friends, Navar Naden Pedimad Melunin, and farewell.